Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to take care of color treated curls. I have been several shades of colors like purple, red, black, violet, blue, red, did I mention red? Now I'm blonde and I was blonde before, I was even like an orange. Long story. Anyway, I'm finally at a place where I feel like I've nailed a color that I absolutely love and also still can keep the integrity of my hair. I come across so many people that ask me on Instagram, how do you have such a nice color but your curls are still intact? And that's something that I, that I get asked all the time. And even I didn't know how to do it until finally like these past years like this past year in 2015 I feel like I've nailed being able to take care of my curls and also have a nice color and it really took a lot of time for me to nail those key things down and so I wanted to share those tips with you because I feel like sometimes we overlook some of the most simple things and some of the things that we should be doing but it's kinda like we get a little lazy I'll be the first to admit sometimes I don't want to do some of these things but I know that if I want really nice popping curls I have to do them so I wanted to share these tips with you guys I wrote them all down so I wouldn't forget not one of them and if you're watching this I'm assuming you have color treated curls and you're kinda like I don't know what to do to bring back those curls or this is also for you if you're looking into coloring your curls these are some things to make sure that you are thinking about so that when you do go blonde or red or whatever color you already know what to expect. One of the things that I've learned was although it's very convenient and cheaper to do your own hair sometimes it ends up being a little bit more expensive because you don't really know what it takes to maintain that hair and also you just never know like you can completely mess up your curl pattern just because you didn't want to spend a few extra dollars for changing your hair from blonde to black or from black to blonde it's a process it is a process so one of the first things I wanted to talk to you guys about is go to an actual stylist and a stylist that actually cares about the integrity of your hair usually stylists or colorists you have a conversation with them at first a consultation go to a consultation take advantage of that sometimes most of the times they're free honestly they give you a 15 to 20 minute consultation and you talk about what are the things that are important to you if you're someone with curly hair Tell them the integrity of my curls are what's important to me. Make sure you have that dialogue, that conversation. Because if there's no sort of relationship or communication, they're not going to understand. They're just going to think, okay, this girl wants blonde. I'm going to slap a blonde on her hair. And that actually has happened to me. Like I said, very long story. You know, and this also leads to someone who is just looking to really get the money out of you. I have spent a ton of money on my hair and I didn't even like the color at the time. I don't know what it is that we all of a sudden can't speak up when someone is doing our hair and we don't like it. I mean I know how to speak up but sometimes it's just like oh my gosh like I'm really not in love with this color and I have had times where I have felt like that but I just didn't say anything because I'm like uh, maybe it's just a phase maybe it's just the process but no there are times where I just did not like the color and so now I finally am back in Jersey I'm back with my stylist and I love the color and the process in which she takes me in because she really knows the goal that I have in mind and it's to have beautiful hair but also have a nice color as well. Right now a lot of people always just see the blonde on top but I have not dyed my hair completely blonde. It's just a bunch of highlights that end up looking like I've dyed my hair. That is what I mean by taking it slow. Taking it as a process as opposed to just slapping a color on there. Another thing is that make sure it's the color you want. I've been blonde before so I got a glimpse of what the blonde was going to look like with my curls. I just didn't give it a chance. Honestly I was so turned off in the beginning stages that when my actual my stylist 
color corrected and fixed it and stuff I was already kind of over it but I loved the job that she did she gave me a nice angular bob cut with the color corrected color that I actually wanted initially that someone else did on my hair and um, that was the very first time that I went blonde so initially it was a bad experience but when my friend actually uh, corrected the color just a beautiful color like beautiful color another tip that I have for you is to baby your hair baby it like it's your business like I know sometimes like personally as much videos as I do about hair I never want my whole life to surround around my hair like that's super annoying that's super I don't know I just don't like it but I do know that in order to kind of show you guys what I do I have to be intentional about doing the things that I have to do to keep my to maintain my hair being healthy and curly and you guys don't go off about me on my ends and all this other stuff so one of the things is that you have to baby it you know, massage your scalp with some oil, um, do those masks, do those treatments. I can go in more depth about exactly what I do, but these are just tips, you know, do those treatments, do those masks at least weekly. This goes into another tip, shampoo less frequently. What I mean by that is sometimes we tend to just go into the sulfate free shampoos and they are great, fabulous, much more uh, convenient than an actual uh, shampoo that has sulfates, but try to keep even that especially in the winter especially in the winter try to keep that to a minimal try to have a, a conditioning cleanser instead um, which is acts as a shampoo but it's more so a conditioning moisturizing cleanser the next thing is gonna be something very hard which I'll admit was super hard for me in the very very beginning of my kind of going fully curly routine that is when I really started embracing my curl and really started being very conscious about making sure that I had healthy curls. So this one is the no heat to minimal heat. I know, especially being Latina, I love a nice blowout. I love a nice rollo set. I love to feel my hair, feel like a different person, honestly. I love it. But at the same time, you have to really keep those things to a minimal. I allow myself a handful of blowouts a year. I just did one at the end of last year, at the end of 2015, and I loved it. But at the same time, I was like, I'm so used to having my hair curly that I immediately, like the next day, I just wanted my hair back curly because I was like, oh my god, this is so weird. Why did I do it? I mean, it was great for a week. I didn't have to worry about it, but at the same time, I was just like, I can't get, I can't wait to get back to my routine. And so you have to, even in your curl process, you have to keep the heat to a minimal. I know that it's hard, especially in the winter time. One thing that I'll encourage you to do is maybe do your routine on a Sunday night before your week starts or the night before you want your curls on point, you know. I like to do my routine the night before or any of the evenings, I do it. I do have a winter curl routine out right now, so make sure you check that out. Uh, on that day, I do it on my free day. The day that I filmed it, I did it on my free day, and I was home all day. It was actually a snow day, and I did it, and so I'm good for the week. Um, sometimes it lasts a week, sometimes I do a crappy job, and I have to do it like three days later. But it's all in the steps that you take in order to... Um, fulfill those curls for that week and of course if you do have to diffuse I understand there's those times that you have to do it the morning of just keep it minimal heat like I said really try to get used to air drying and basically I go through all the details in which how I get my curls in the winter curl routine so if you guys have any further questions after seeing that definitely let me know and then the final one, which is really simple, is just don't use extremely hot water. I mean, my stylist tell, tells me it's really not that serious if you use like warm water. And I like to seal my curls with a, with a cool water. But don't use extremely hot water. I know in the wintertime you just want to take a nice hot shower, which is okay. Just don't let that be the shower that you have your hair soaking in because... That can really damage your hair. So if you guys apply these simple little steps, you guys will start seeing results. I know some of these things are really obvious, like 
making sure this is the color you want or uh, using minimal heat and uh, you know shampooing less I know that these are things that um, you may have already done just make sure that you stay consistent with them because it will yield you really good results there are also a lot of things that my actual stylist does in the process of dyeing my hair that I'll have to just maybe ask her to, to come into one of my videos and um, or I can take you guys to the salon with me but those are technical things that she that she knows to do that maybe she can explain a little better and maybe you guys can explain to your stylist that is what I want. And so if you guys are interested in something like that, um, let me know in the comments below so that I can maybe arrange something like that. Um, there are just technical things that she uses. I know that she uses Olaplex in, in the uh, color base that she does. So that's something that I kind of know um, about, but I wouldn't feel comfortable sharing the details because I ain't a stylist and I'm not a colorist so she would definitely be the first the best person to ask those questions to so um, let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'll definitely take you guys along with me if, if you are I definitely hope these tips were helpful for your color treated hair or for your best friend or sister or mother um, I know it could be difficult to achieve a nice color and still keep the integrity of your curl but I just wanted to let you know that yes it is possible you just gotta take it baby steps at a time and just baby your hair like I mentioned before that's all it takes and you can have really nice hair thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video Mwah!